But based on the quality of both teams, this should be an easy game for us not to negotiate. Based on the record, based on the players, based on the manager, based on the experience, we should be beating Wolves, not just beating Wolves, we should be beating Wolves convincingly and, con and the, 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 the victory should be very compelling and convincing. If Welcome and welcome to the present. Ladies and gentlemen, guess what? The Premier League is back. We play our first game against Wolves on Saturday. Before we go to Nitty Gritty, uh, kindness, like the video, subscribe if you, are, if you are new here, and make sure you turn on your notification bell. One more time, like the video, very, very, very important. Subscribe, hit subscribe, and make sure you turn on your notification bell. Yes, the Premier League is back on Saturday. We are playing with Vamdra Wanderers at the Emirates. We know we love them Wolves when they come into town. We like to play, with, especially at the Emirates. We love them Wolves coming to town and we use our cannons and do what we do. There is no better game to start the, the Premier League with than playing Wolves at the Emirates. There is no better game in my personal opinion, I'm sure you guys agree with me very, very well about playing Wolves every time because we love to play them when they come to town. We have a fantastic, it's beyond fantastic record against Wolves. So I'm expecting us to do what we do uh, on Saturday, uh, beat them convincingly, start by increasing our goal, our, our goal difference because when you compete against Man City in the league, any advantage you sense, you take maximum advantage of it. So, Wolves coming to, to town for me is, is, is fantastic. Uh, Gary O'Neill is still their manager. Uh, Teta is still our manager. Uh, we know that Wolves, uh, they, they had a few sales that will affect uh, the, the statements of their team. They sold Kilma to West Ham. Fantastic acquisition by West Ham, in my personal opinion. Uh, for me, a, a huge loss to Wolves because for me, he's their best defender at the back. And a few days ago, they sold Pedro Neto. I won't call Pedro Neto, their, mo their best player, but I'll call him one of their most influential attacking player when fit. That that would be the right way to put it. So huge losses for for Wolves, Neto and Kilman out of their team. They still have a, a, a few the same players. Wolves are that are that team that you can barely predict what they're going to do. One moment they're playing fantastic, the next moment they are they are peace poor. Uh, a lot of people were, uh, were actually penned them down last year for relegation. And I, I, I thought that was a bit disrespectful. I know they can be a, a sort of a yo-yo team, but so it's disrespectful to actually uh, pen down Wolves for relegation. And for this season, they've not made uh, so much uh, significant acquisition. I think they made one uh, acquisition from the from the Brazilian league. I think an attacker. You know, is, it, is it a mutual an attacker they made? They've not had the best of the transfer. We have to be very careful. The transfer window has not ended yet, so they could still bring in a few players. But perhaps they still have the Korean guy, the Juan. They still have Kunia, a very good uh, uh, striker. That, if he's not wasteful, is a little striker. I don't say a little striker. He's a striker that I can't predict what mood he will be in a particular day. But he's a very decent uh, player for them. Uh, they have decent midfielders. They have some good defenders. Aside from the fact that they sold their best defender to West Ham. So, uh, it's a good game that I'm looking forward to on Saturday. It should be a great game. I'm sure a lot of Arsenal fans are looking forward to watching uh, the likes of Saka, Martinelli, Odegaard do their thing against Wolves. I expect a decent pushback from Wolves, but I expect us to overwhelm and overpower and dominate and blitz Wolves because as good as they can be sometimes, we are just superior team to Wolves. We are a superior team. We have a better squad, better starting level, better manager, more experience than Wolves, in my personal opinion. So, it should be a good game that a lot of Arsenal faithfuls are looking forward to. I'm sure the opposition fans, the rivals are hoping Wolves could be a banana skin. I don't think so. I don't think so. I know football can be very funny. Things can change. But based on the quality of both teams, this should be an easy game for Arsenal to negotiate. Based on the record, based on the players, based on the manager, based on the experience, we should be beating Wolves, not just beating Wolves. We should be beating Wolves convincingly and con and the, 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 the victory to be very compelling and convincing if we want to be se taken seriously as tied to contenders right we've done it twice now this is the third time we have to take a step forward not just content and try and win the title so we have to start with a bang so when we come to town at the emirates at, at our backyard we need to give them a good spanking 
we need to give them a good spanking so i'm looking forward to this game let me know in the comment section are you looking forward to this game what are your predictions what are you how do you foresee the match going let me know in the comment section i am just excited that football the English Premiership is back. Now, this is not a preview. I'll still do a preview, but I'm very excited. Premier League is back. We saw our uh, Arsenal play yesterday uh, against Leon in our last position friendly. Uh, even though the result in terms of scoreline was not overly emphatic, but you can tell the performance was dominating, it was domineering. It was a good performance. So do not listen to the naysayers nice saying we'll have scored a few more. Yes, but give some credit to Leon. They were Defensive, fantastic. They gave us a competition. It happens like that. Sometimes, no matter how good and superior you are, doesn't mean you score. Uh, you'll be scoring goals for fun. Football can be very funny and cruel sometimes. You can dominate certain teams, and they can hit you a second punch and lose. So when we have a, that kind of dominate, dominating and domineering performance, and we score just two goals on set pieces, you have to understand that no matter how much you might, you can dominate certain games. It doesn't guarantee you goals. And sometimes the floodgates can get open and you can score six, seven, eight goals. It happens, but you have to actually know how to manage your expectations. I wanted us to score a lot of goals, but unfortunately couldn't score those goals. When it comes to goals, on Saturday, the result is very important as well as the performance. But firstly, the result, right? You are going for the league. The result has to be a win. Then we can now add the, the performance and add the goal difference so let's see how it's going to pan out so guys if you are just joining me seeing my channel for the first time one more time kindly kindly strike the like button very very important subscribe if you're here to subscribe or if you're new and make sure you turn on your notification bell one more time like the video subscribe if you're new and make sure you turn on your notification bell let me know what you think about this saturday's game coming up last night against world emirate what are your expectations? Let me know in the comment section. And this will be all I will talk for now. Say, expect a preview uh, a day or two before the game. And I, I will see you guys on the next one. Just keep on supporting us now. And I will say bye for now. <laughs>